This is Mark Henninger at Can Jam New York City 2017. This show is heaven for headphone and personal audio enthusiasts. During my visit, I saw and heard products such as Hi Fi Man's Shangri La, Sennheiser's Orpheus Electrostatic Headphone System, Ultra Quiet Amps by THX, as well as Periodic Audio's interesting earbuds that are made from three different elements. Shit Audio's DAC amps, including the Fulla 2, and the capable yet affordable Jotunheim. Over-ear as well as in-ear multi-driver headphones from One More. Planar magnetic earbuds from Odyssey. And finally, I checked out Sony's best headphones, the MDR Z1Rs. At CanJam, I finally got to spend some quality time with Sennheiser's $50,000 Orpheus electrostatic headphone system. This epitomizes luxury listening in multiple ways. It was as impeccable as anything I've heard. Sennheiser says it has the lowest distortion of any audio reproduction device out there. As I listened to In the Ghetto by Elvis Presley, the degree of transparency I experienced with the Orpheus has only been rivaled by a few of the very best demos of full-size stereo systems that I've ever heard. No question, it's a true reference point for two-channel audio. Not to be outdone, Hi-Fi Man also showed up with the $50,000 electrostatic headphone rig, the Shangri-La. This system, featuring a design aesthetic inspired by cutting-edge military hardware, is a combination of a vacuum tube amp, in this case a transformer-free design using Model 300B vacuum tubes, and a custom headset. According to Hi-Fi Man, the tubes are able to drive the high-impedance electrostatic transducers directly. This is a bold, reference-quality statement piece. I wish I could have spent some more time with the Shangri-La in a quiet room, as was the case with the Sennheiser Orpheus. However, this demo occurred on the busy show floor, which was rather noisy. These are open back headphones, so external sound came through and negated the advantage of what I imagine is a very low noise floor on this system. As far as comfort, clarity, and dynamics are concerned, the Shangri-La shows what can be achieved when cost is effectively no object. Another impressive Hi-Fi Man demo involved the pairing of the company's EF-1000 amplifier and $6,000 Edition 6 flagship planar magnetic headphones, a combination some were saying sounded better than the Shangri-La. I don't know how you can make a judgment call like that on the show floor, but they are both exemplary headphones. Periodic Audio has an interesting take on ear-near monitors. The company used CanJam to introduce three models that share the same fundamental design and use a single 10mm dynamic transducer. Dan Wiggins, from Periodic Audio, says using a full-range transducer has benefits in terms of reducing distortion and resonances. The difference between the three models offered by the company boils down to the material used for the transducer. Otherwise, they are identical. Magnesium drivers cost $99, titanium will run you $199, and beryllium drivers sell for $299. Wiggins says each metallic element has its own unique sound signature with its own frequency response curve. THX has a new amplifier design that it says offers the world's lowest measured distortion. One model it brought touted a signal-to-noise ratio of 150 decibels. Another model that emphasizes efficiency over ultimate performance has a 135 decibel signal-to-noise ratio. This is an amp that can end up in a portable device. During the demo, you could watch the ultra-low current draw in real time. I listened to the 150 decibel record-breaking performance amplifier. 
which was fed audio by a benchmark DAC 3L. I couldn't find fault with it, but given the amount of ambient noise at the show, there's no possible way to make a judgment that accounts for the noise floor of a device like this. For now, I'll take THX's word for it that the amps meet their impressive specifications. Shit Audio is known for its no BS, portable audio DAC and amp designs that offer high performance at affordable prices. Its products are made in the USA. At CanJam, the company showed the new $99 Fulla 2 USB DAC amp preamp. It's made of metal, delivers 550 milliwatts of power into a 16 ohm load, and sports a nice big volume knob. Another product from Shit Audio is the Jotunheim. It's a $399 upgradable balanced headphone preamp and amp that features 5 watts of power output for 32 ohm loads and 500 milliwatts of output into 600 ohm loads. It offers both a DAC upgrade option and a moving magnet phono stage upgrade. Plus, the company promises additional upgrade modules in the future. One more seeks to bring great sounding headphones to the masses at low prices. The company made its name with its durable $99 triple driver in-ear model. At CanJam, the company showed off its new $299 triple driver over-ear headphones, which feature beryllium drivers, as well as its new $199 quadruple driver in-ear model. The quadruple driver in-ear features a dynamic driver for deep bass, as well as three balanced armature drivers for mid-range and treble clarity. It's a combination that typically costs much more. Some of the most interesting portable headphones at the show were the iSign series from Odyssey. These are miniaturized planar magnetic headphones that can be worn as in-ear monitors. They look a bit outlandish and they are not inexpensive, but they are extremely light and the sound they produce is powerful with lots of body, deep tight bass, and great transient response. There is really not anything else out there quite like them. The iSign 10 and iSign VR are the more affordable models at $399 a pair, while the premium iSign 20 will cost you $599. Both models sport a frequency response of 10 Hz to 50,000 Hz. Wrapping things up is Sony's Tour de Force in personal audio, the $2,000 per pair MDR Z1R headphones, which are super comfy and sound profound when powered by a $2,200 TAZH1ES headphone amp. The amp is fed audio by a $3,200 NW-WM1Z Walkman. Yes, that's a $7,400 personal audio system from Sony we're talking about here. But it's sublime. The over-ear MDR Z1R features a massive 2.76 inch diameter dynamic driver that uses a magnesium dome and can reach frequencies up to 120 kilohertz. Sony also says they can reproduce bass as low as 4 Hz. These headphones are made in Japan out of titanium and leather. Kudos to CanJam for bringing together such great sounding systems including this one from Sony. Subscribe now to AVS Forum's YouTube channel for more great videos. And thank you 